Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Silly P. It's Friday the 30th of April. Another week comes to a close. We have a couple of new mods. One of them is an absolute doozy and quite a few updates. The updates are as follows. From top left, the Ursus C355, the C355M, C360, 3P, 4x2, by Driver 300 and Gracian 26, the Loma ZDK1802 by Vertex Design, the KFMR Krukoviak Apollo 1015PHX by Kofapsky Modding Company, the TCM Runner Pack by TCM, the Fiat 80 Series JD, by JDM96, the Timbered Farm Pack by Richie F, the German Gas Stations by TF2020 Mods, the Bunker Silo Set by Top Ace 888 and Falcon Tal by Vectorman have all had updates today. So we'll start off with the, the simple one to get our heads around. This is the Siljum Multi Snow Bucket. This is 6.32 megabytes download. It is seven slots on console. This is by North Modding Company. Now, when I installed this, this automatically installed Seasons. So obviously it is designed as a snow bucket, but it will take everything. So if you, if you want to use it as a regular bucket, just be careful that when you download it, it will download Seasons. If you don't want Seasons, you can then just uninstall the Seasons mod. That's not a problem at all. So, nicely detailed. It has side flaps. You can have a 6,000 litre or a 9,000 litre version, and it's the width of it is out to 5 metres with the, the boards extended. Like I say, it is designed to work on snow, but it will pick up other things as well, because it's not just a, a plough, it is an actual shovel, as you can see. It's just got some extra bells and whistles on it. Nicely made, nicely detailed, as the North Modern Company stuff usually is. You'll find it under wheel loaders, tools and wheel loaders. 11,000 to buy. Like, it takes all that stuff down the bottom there, so not just snow. We can have standard, or with the extension, which takes it from 6,000 to 9,000 litres. NMC basic design, or you can have the slightly longer boards on there. The NMC D edition. And then you've got the Shark P300 boards at the bottom and then you've got the Ollis Falls 500 these are the bits that would wear out when you're scraping and stuff like that and you just replace them they're supposed to last a bit longer that kind of thing those are the options no color options nothing like that available so what we'll do now obviously this has got this is for a wheel loader there are loads of adapters available in the mod hub in the CSZ pack there's quite a few adapters, so you could actually use an adapter and use this on another vehicle, not just a wheel loader, if you wanted to. So we've got our usual up, down, and all that kind of stuff you can do with your wheel loader. Um, on R1, and right stick side to side, does that flap. Right stick up and down, does that one. So what you can do then is adjust them to whatever angle you want to get them at. You can have them almost flat if you want to, like that. Or you can bring them right in. That's entirely up to you for snow but what I've done is I've well, we've got a snow substitute we've got lime here on the floor so what we'll do is pop that down like that and as you can see that is picking up to the width of those boards what I'm going to check actually because I haven't done yet is bring that right the way in and that right the way in yes I think it pretty much goes to the width of the boards if I bring that out and then Oh, that one out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we'll actually adjust the width. It's not just a set width. There we go. We've almost got a 9,000 litres done already. And that's what it's designed to do. It's a snow shovel bucket, but we'll do other things too. Very useful, very handy by North Modding Company. Next then, things are about to get a little bit more complicated, <laughs> which isn't always a good thing for me, and especially on a Friday. Uh, right, we have got, this is the Amazon System Senius. So as the thumbnail says, 
we have a system and this comprises multiple mods it's just absolutely bonkers we've got the Senius 7503 2TX there are two of these this is a 7.5 meter wide cultivator now we have got the Senius that's interesting ah it's also a bit naughty so that's been taken from we got I was gonna say we've got the 8000 standard in game which is an 8 meter this is the 7503 but it's still saying 8003 on the side of the machine does that one say the same thing it does Ooh. Uh, anyway, so 7.5 meter wide cultivator with a few different options. We've got the premium, which is this one here. And then we've got this one here, which is the 30 box version. And it has the 30 box already attached to the cultivator. That's not detachable, that's fixed in place. So the standard and the 30 box. We have then got Next, we've got the BTF 4000. Now, we've got these as standard, but these have got some adjustments with them. These are cedars. Now, I'll show you, I was say, that's 22 slots. That's 29 slots with the 30 box. So the BTF 4000s are four slots for the first one. Then, obviously, the slot count will drop down. Now, any of these can be used independently. That can be used as a cultivator on its own. But with the various different attachments, we can have attachments for the cedars. These can be used independently, but you can set it with a left side and a right side to go specifically on the back of this. We've then got, on the back of that, the PT6000-7500. Now, it looks like a cultivator. It's found under the fertiliser technology. It doesn't actually cultivate, but it does provide a fertilising state if you turn it on. Now, the problem is... I think it's a problem. We are going to check it. It does say... PT 6000 7500 fertilizer function included doesn't work in AI mode. So I think if you hire a worker, it won't do anything on its own. Now, potentially, if that's the whole setup and it won't do that, that's a little bit of a drawback because that means you can't just set a worker off to go on with this. Mind you, this is a long bit of kit to, to be working on its own. Then we've also got added in this is the FH 2200. And that's a fertiliser or seed box, 2,200 litres. Now, all of these things we've got already, I think apart from that, that might be part of another mod, or was it a... There was a Bednar mod, wasn't there? But these have all been converted. We can change the colour options and stuff on them as well. And then what we've also got in this pack, as well as the seeders, we've got planters that come with this. So we've got the Tempo VTP V5s, these are nine slots for the first one, and then the slot count drops down on those. So we can seed or plant. We can cultivate. We can cultivate and seed. We can cultivate, seed, and fertilize with the 30 box. Now, that says 30 box, but I've only managed to get it to put seed in. It does say on the mod hub that it does seed and fertilizer, but I've only managed to get that to do seed at the moment. But that said, with the... You know, this, is, this one, I mean, it's going to get complete confusing. These, the BTFs, don't have anywhere to put seed themselves. So that's why you're going to need the seed box on the front. And when we see it all hooked up, you'll see it all connects up with pipes and all the rest of it. It's very nicely done, very nicely detailed. The planters do have some capacity for seed and a little bit of fertiliser. Not a huge amount. So again, probably not a bad idea. If you go with the 30 box, that's got seed in it. And if you want to go with that, on the front, you could then put seed or fertiliser in to balance the whole thing out. There's a lot going on. But as I said, you can use all of these independently. You don't have to use them in one long system. So let's find them. I know it's a lot to digest all in one go because it's like say it's four or five mods in one really. We'll start under cultivators. So yeah, the Senius 8003 2TX Super is the standard in-game version. Eight metres wide, 68 grand. The modded one, 7503, 7.5 metres, although it's still got the 8,300 on the side of it. Um, the premium is 64,100. Slot count will drop down from 22 down to 2. If you go for the 7503 30 box, that's 102 grand. And it does say seed and fertiliser, but I've only managed to get to put 3,200 litres of seed in. Maybe it will do 
one or the other. Maybe Seed was just the first option it gave me. Slot count will drop from 29 down to 2 on that. Options on this, we've got standard, like that. Or we can have an extra cutter roller across the front. You don't have to have that. Adds another 8,600 onto the price. Attaches, standard. So if you want to use it as a standalone cultivator, you can. It has a trailer hitch on the back, so you can put something else behind it. But you can have the lift frames for cedars added on for the cedars that come with it. Then we've got wheel setup standard or wide. That's the same for the 30 box version. Standard or with cutter roller. Attaches, standard or with lift frames. Still has the trailer hitch on the back. And then wide tyres if you want that as an option. So that's the first part. That's the cultivator section. If we go to cedars. The standard BTF 4000 is there, 4 metres wide. So here we have the BTF 4000 Vary, 14 grand for the first one, let's say slot counts 4, that will drop down to 1 for any subsequent one. Now will do your regular seeding things, but here are your options. We can change the main colour to anything, so if you want to match it up so your whole unit runs as a John Deere unit, as a whatever, all those options there. A class, you know, Massey Ferguson, the whole shebang. You can Design colour changes just the um, springs, I think. If I look at that correctly. Yeah, springs change colour. Then attach a start type. So standard, that will work as a standalone cedar. If we go for seniors left side and seniors right side, that's what hooks up to the other thing we've got. Now, if you buy a seniors left side or right side, that will then cease to hook up to a regular three-point link. Because I tried it, I thought I'll grab one and I'll... Oh, it might have just been the planter, but I couldn't get it to hook up. It's just something to be aware of. I mean, you might find it works fine for you. But obviously, with the standard, you've got the uh, warning squares on there. If you go left side and right side, you don't. So that's the cedar section. If we then come out of that, we've got two planters. All right, there's the FH2200. That's the sea tank. That's the standard in-game one. The modded version is there. It says FH2200 colour, because, again, we can change the main colour. And we can change the design colour to match up with whatever you want to. Like so. So you can make the whole rig run as it should. Same thing, 2,200 litres, it will do seed or fertiliser. Then we've got the actual seeders, uh, sorry, planters. Now again, this threw me, we had these in the week. It does say you've got the option to have it, seed and fertiliser, or just seed. Weirdly, that one's more expensive. These are the ones I got, and it did seed and fertiliser. So... I think it's just the tower bit that comes with that. It's just a slightly different design. But again, with this, we can change the main colour, anything on that palette. Design colour, new design colour, anything on that palette. Then attach a type. This, again, you can have it standard like this. That will just work perfectly well on its own. Left side, right side. And this one's actually got... Well, it's got the... Um... <laughs> Mine's gone blank. The arms, you know what I mean. <laughs> but I couldn't get them to work. So that's how you can see which one's the left side and right side, because it puts those on, whereas the cedar, it didn't have that. And then back to standard again. This is... Yeah, these were nine slots each for the first one. And then we've got, under fertiliser technology, the Bednar PT 6,700. 22,300 to buy. Slot count will go down from eight to one you can have it standard as it is again we can change the main color and the design color to match up your whole rig if you want to you can have a six meter or the 7.5 the 7.5 meter will obviously match up with the cultivator your planters and everything else will see as you go we'll set up standard or wide so i think that's all of them <laughs> just to show you what i mean about you can use them independently So if I want to fold that up, no, it doesn't have an option to raise or lower. It's either folded or it's on the ground. So that's how it will come. Unfold it. Now to get the fertilising action on this, you have to turn it on. 
So we hit the floor. Turn it on. And as you drive forward, you'll see it's giving that dark patch so it's fertilising like that. Now what I'm going to do is hire a worker. It won't let me. So it won't let me hire a worker. Let's turn it off and hire a worker. No. So that won't work on its own to hire a worker. So if you want to use it as an independent fertiliser, it, it won't cost you a penny to fertilise. I mean, I suppose that's one bonus. I know people won't be very happy with that, but... So that won't cost you a penny to fertilise 7.5 metres out, unless you go for the 6 metre version. But it won't let you hire a worker. So if you want to leave something fertilising, that's not really going to work for you. And then obviously the cultivator one you can work independently too. This is brilliant in that all of the shanks on here, you watch all the springs for the shanks when this goes. This is amazing. I don't think this is on the standard one. Watch the animations on all the shanks. Look, the springs. <laughs> That's brilliant. So it will cultivate on its own. Let's turn that off. And let's check out these whole units together. <laughs> Just honestly, the mind boggles. Uh, I will say, when I hooked these up to bring them down, the cedars were absolutely fine. The planters were jostling around a bit. They didn't seem to like it. Now, I've got them on the correct sides. Because you can see, the arm extensions are in the correct positions. So I'm not quite sure why I didn't like it. But anyway, what we'll also see is this hook up. So we'll put the front tank on. I can't remember why I've got in that now. That's got seed in it. We'll hook it up. Look. Pipe right the way along. The pipe hits that. Runs right the way across the top of the cultivator to the next section. If we then hook up our... Look. All the pipes. All, it's brilliant. It's so well done. And back up again. And let's pick up that. Now let's see if this will work with a worker. Oh, now that's interesting. So it makes me wonder then, why have that fertiliser? So this fertilising unit can attach but won't work with a worker. Let's put it on worker again. Is it going to work now? No. So I've got to do it myself. If I turn that on now, but that means I've got to then go through and turn that on. Drop it. Turn that on. Drop it. And now we should get all of it. There we go. So we are cultivating, seeding. No, it's not seeding. Why is it not seeding? Because uh, it's attached to the whole unit. <laughs> I told you this was going to be complicated. Right. Let's get the cultivator dropped as well, because they're attached to that. Now it should work. Right. So now we are cultivating. We are seeding. And we are fertilising. All in one go. All with the pipes all hooked up. It's a big old beast. It's a big old unit. But I do like all the movement of everything. It's really nicely done. So let's turn that off. Yes, yeah, so that's unfortunately... That's going to mean on big fields and stuff like that, you just can't hire a worker. It's an amazing setup, though. Incredible rig. What a system. What a construction. So, the other one is the 30 box with the planters. Now, this one doesn't hook up because that's got the 30 box already. The distance between here and the front, especially depending on the size of the tractor as well, is too long the pipe comes down from that into the 30 box you can add an additional box at the front it just won't hook the pipe up as we're about to see so it's there and again really nicely detailed carver open on that and you know see both sides of that are seed not split seed and fertilizer but i like the animation on that Let's back up and get our planters on. Let's get our planter on. 
It doesn't seem to be jiggling about as much now. That's good. Oh, now. That seems to be what's doing it. It attaches the the um, fertilising unit on the back, but that seems to come into contact with the planters. Without that, yeah, they're perfectly fine. As soon as I hook that rear section up, the planters move. Look. Hmm. Interesting. Well, what we'll do... We know the fertiliser works, the fertiliser bit on the back. Let's just do it like that. And let's hire a worker from here. What are we on? We're on corn. Now one of these, as you can see on the right hand side, one of these hasn't got something in it. I think it might be the right hand one. I might not have filled that then. Because one of these is showing that it hasn't got something in. Anyway, let's hire a worker. So I'll drop the whole lot down. We can watch the springs go. All the rear sections all bouncing as they go as well. Independently animated. I'm just not getting the fertilizer of that. Now, the argument could be had, can be had. Because that's running seed from here, it's got fertilizer. Now, did that fertilize? Because it's got fertilizer in one of these. So maybe one strip did, one strip didn't. You notice that these pipes haven't hooked up to these, the planters. Hmm. I suppose the problem as well with this, there are so many different ways of hooking all these things up. Will this work with other cedars at four metres wide? Potentially. Um, the frames are there, so I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. But, like I say, what I was going to say was the argument can be had that, well, all right, that's cultivating and you're seeding, but you can buy direct drills that do that in both cedars and planters. Yeah, absolutely you can. But this is just a, you know, a different and interesting way to have the whole lot set up. Plus it does mean you can use any of these independently for doing other work, large or small scale or, you know, whatever you want. I mean, I've, I've probably missed a setting. I've probably missed an option. Apologies if I have. There was quite a lot in that. Uh, I like the animations. I like the hookups. I like the details on it. It's, it's a nice mod. Very cool. Um, did I even say who it was by? I didn't, did I? I got so wrapped up in it. 30.89 megabytes download for this pack. It's by Monter1. And with that, we finish for another week. I hope you have a lovely weekend. I'm hoping to get some bits out over the weekend, potentially. If not, I will see you again on Monday for potentially more mods. We'll see what happens. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.